So relationships with narcissists tend to move extremely fast. And if you're new here, I'm a narcissist. I have narcissistic personality disorder. So during the love bombing phase, a narcissist is going to give you everything that you want and need and have been begging the universe for like, oh my goodness, send me my soulmate. The narcissist is going to pretend to be your soulmate. And while doing so, the narcissistic person in your life will squeeze so much information, squeeze so much love, care, and affection into into such a short period of time that you get addicted to that person very, very quickly. When you're dating a narcissist or in a relationship with a narcissist, you'll hit relationship milestones way faster than you're supposed to because the relationship has been sped up so much so that you're going to go past. You're going to get pregnant really quick. You're going to have a baby really quick. You're going to move in together really, really quick. You're going to be saying, I love yous quickly. And I say this all the time, the faster you are going, the more likely you are to miss red flags. Slowing down and tapping the brakes in the relationship is setting a boundary. And narcissists don't like boundaries, so they'll push against it. What is going on, beautiful people? Welcome to another episode of A Narcissist Explains. I am self-aware, diagnosed narcissist Lee Hammock, and I use my platform on social media to raise awareness for narcissistic personality disorder, get more people into therapy, and also validate the victims and survivors of this disorder as well. This series right here is dedicated to making my TikToks and YouTube shorts longer. They are 60 seconds or less. This is going to be longer than, you know, 60 seconds. So... The TikTok you just watched, the YouTube short you just watched, was about how narcissistic relationships move very, very fast. I keep, look, y'all. Red flag number one, narcissist or not, toxic person or not, if everything is moving too dang on fast, don't be afraid to slow it down. Because if you are, I, yeah, I, I've, the dreads, I'm going to rip one out. I'm going to rip a dread out. I, I really am. I have to rip a dread out because... If you are moving too fast, you are going to miss red flags. What color was this right here, y'all? What? I'm gonna hold something in my hand. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna swipe something past the screen real quick. Tell me what color it is, okay? What color was that that just swiped by in my hand? What color was that? What color is? I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna do it again. This is you moving fast, narcissist. When you moving fast with a narcissist, I'm gonna show you what what color is this that's in my hand. I'm gonna flat flash across the screen. I'm gonna count down and do it anyway. You still not gonna be three, two, one. What color was that I just flashed across the screen? Oh, you can't tell? Cool, because that's how you fa that's how fast narcissistic relationships go. That's how more that's how likely you are to miss red flags because of that because of that narcissistic because you're moving too fast. It, it was brown. If you case you're wondering, dude, dude, my wallet is brown. You know what I mean? So you're moving too fast, y'all. Slow it down, please, for the dear look. Me, as a narcissist, I like to move fast because I'm afraid deep down that if I'm moving fast enough, if I'm moving too fast, if I'm moving quick enough, you won't realize who I really am. You'll fall for the stuff that I say. You'll believe everything that I say. You'll fall in love with me to the point where like, I can get away with stuff that if we slow down, I normally wouldn't get away with. That's red flag number one, y'all. I hope that example showed you how fast it is. Like If, you, if, you, if you're going this fast... You're going to miss stuff. But if you go this way, you're like, whoa, there's some red on there. Oh, wait a minute. There's some red right there. Let me go past that. You see how that works right there? Slow it down. I want to move fast. That narcissist in your life, they want to move fast. We like to move fast because moving fast allows us to get away with stuff that we normally wouldn't get away with. It just does. That's the way the life goes. That's the way the process goes. Slow it down. You are in a you are passenger in this car, y'all. You are. You're a passenger in this car. You, If you are afraid to tap the brakes, if you're afraid to say no, then you're going to get ran over top of and you're going to waste a lot of your time. If you're afraid to set boundaries for this relationship, for this dynamic, then you're going to you're going to waste a lot of time, effort, and energy in your life. And you'll be mad as hell. And you have nobody. You go, you're going to try to blame the narcissist. But you, who, uh, who, blaming the narcissist is going to change what? Blaming the narcissist is going to change what? If you're afraid to say no or slow things down, you cannot blame that narcissist. And then people show you who they really are, you have to believe them. You can't change that person. The only thing you can control is yourself. Hey, we're moving too fast. I don't want to move fast. You, and, I, mean, I don't want to slow down. If you, don't, if you really love me, you would go fast with me. Okay, I love you. Boom, done. That's all it takes is them to push back a little bit. And I know there's a, a lot of extenuating circumstances behind that. I know there's some stuff in childhood. I know there's a lot, of, you know, I know there's a lot, of, you know, there's a lot of moving pieces going on right there. But still, you have the ability to slow it down, y'all. 
red flags moving too fast if you are dating a narcissist that uh, a person or getting to know a person that has kids and you meet those kids too fast that is a red flag if they want to introduce you introduce you to their kids or they want to meet your kids really really fast that's a red flag they're trying to get entangled into your life really 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 quick they want you they want you to get connected to their kids they want to get connected to your kids so it's harder to get up, get us out of there the faster the narcissist get tangled it gets tangled up into your head the harder it is to get them out they want to get tangled into your life they want to barrel into your life like a tick they want to barrel like barrel like a tick suck you suck you get the little suckle suckling get some blood from you and dip it's hard ticks that's why ticks barrel they don't just sit right here and just like they don't sit right here and just bite you on the surface like with, with a straw you never seen a tick with a straw pop up on your arm and and burrow into your arm it's just sit on your arm and drink like a, like it's at a restaurant no they burrow they hide just like, and that's how narcissistic people do we get into your life we make it hard for us to get out we make it really hard for us to get out but you gotta slow it down meeting kids really really fast get that's the connection that shouldn't be there that quick was quickly it takes 90 days on average to get to know somebody y'all google people ask you know pre run credit checks background checks do what you need to do stop being so afraid to find out stuff about people stop being afraid to ask questions because your fear of asking questions is going to get you ran over top of for a very very long time it's going to suck for you the narcissist is going to be good it's going to suck for you and your kids and stuff like that when you you had to, when you meet somebody in it may have people in and out of your kids lives they're going to be like well, who's that boom gone Meeting the kids really, really fast is a red flag, y'all. Meeting parents really, really fast is a red flag. How fast you? Meet? I've, I've read, I've seen comments on my TikTok like, I met the parents on the second date. What? Yeah, he went out of his way to introduce me to his parents really, really quick because they get you entangled into their life. You want to impress the parents like your mom? Did your mom like me? Did your dad like me? How did that go? How did you? you it gets entangled into your life really, really quick. Meeting the kids fast, meeting the parents fast, saying I love you too fast. You should not be saying I love you after the first, second, third date, y'all. Dear God, dear Lord, that you should not like. You should not. You just shouldn't. You just shouldn't. Why do you think they call it ninety day fiance, y'all? The, the TV show. Why do you think they call it ninety day fiance? My guess is because it takes on average ninety days to get to know somebody. So they, they figure like within ninety days, three months, you should have all the information you need to make a decision on this person, whether or not you want to marry them. <laughs> that's the that's the premise of the show, but it's based on it's based on you should know some you should know enough about somebody to continue or leave that person alone. Leave them alone. If you red flags enough red flags, don't marry that person. Leave that person alone. Meeting the kids fast, meeting your, like the parents fast, saying I love you too fast, trying to live together really, really fast. Yeah, yeah, narcissists, like, we like to spend, we like to take up all your time. So we want to move in with you really, really quick to take up all your time so you can't get rid of us. You see us, you have to see us every single day. You have to talk to us every single day. You have, we're in, like I said, we're entangled into your life a little bit more now. You mean, we're in your life a little bit more now. That's, that's a, that's, dog, that's a red flag. Slow it down right there. You know what I mean? Doing that too fast. Having trying to have kids too fast. Talk about kids way too fast, y'all. I think I said I think I saw a girl said she set a record in my comment section yesterday. I, this is the record. I don't think anybody else is gonna beat this. I, I think it's impossible to beat this. She said the first day the first time she met the narcissist, they said I love you and we're talking about kids. They had they did it one time and she got pregnant. They did it one time and like they didn't do it again for three, two, three, four weeks and she was pregnant after the first time. I was like, you should set, like a like, young lady, you just set the record right here. You don't, the first time, you, pr oh. and she said it wasn't a mistake. She's like, yeah, we were talking about it, so we just decided to go ahead and do it. It was just being spontaneous. What? And now I'm, now I regret, it's the, the, the biggest regret I have in my life, and I had to deal with the person for the rest of my life. I said, one, I said, that's got to be a record, y'all. That deserves a dread, that's a dread pull out right there. I was like. One one encounter. Now you have to deal with the person for the rest of your life. Well, we talked about kids, and then now I got one, and now he don't want nothing to do with me. No, please slow it down. Moving into like look at all the red flags. If you think it's moving too fast, y'all. If it's uncomfortable, moving uncomfortably fast, slow it down. If they walk away from you, if you want to slow it down and they walk away from you, that's a win for you. You had fun for a little while, cool. That's a win for you. Keep it put. Keep it pushing. Keep it cracking. Keep it. You know what I'm saying. Keep it moving. Keep it cracking. Keep everything going on. Like, don't just stay there in that situation and be stay in a toxic situation because you're scared to be by yourself.
Don't do that. I mean, just I know it's like Lee. It's easier said than done. Duh! I know it's easier said than done. But I'm telling you, don't do it. <laughs> I have to say it. It's easier said than done. But if, if, at least I said it. You mean at least my con? I, I, I said it. Lee, Lee, you never said it. I, I said that. I said don't do it. Just slow it down, y'all. If you're moving too fast, it's just it, you, there are signs. The signs be the signs be you, you be blown by the signs again. So one more time, what color? What color is this right here? Just going by the screen. So tell me what color this is. No, it's not the wallet. It's pills. It's my black, my, my caffeine pills. It's black. You just missed another red flag. Too quick. Take the blinders off. Slow it down. Please, y'all. I hope that illustration brought some, made some sense to y'all. That imagery. Yeah. Just slow it down, y'all. You're a passenger in this car, too. You, you, If you're going 150 miles per hour when you're comfortable at going 50, slow it down. Like, hey, we're going 100 miles, 100 miles per hour over the speed limit, over, over my speed limit. Well, this is my car. This is my car too. Skirt, tap the brakes. Get out. Tap, tap the brakes and get out. <laughs> take your time, y'all. I promise y'all, you, you'll live a better life, a more fulfilling life if you take your time and fill people out. Don't be afraid to Google people, search people up, and get proof. Get references. You get a you won't job. You interview somebody for a job. Get some references. Reference. Hey, interview your exes. You know, what would your, your exes say about you? They would say that I'm crazy, but you know what? All of them crazy. Gotcha. Okay, cool. We this had a, I don't think I don't think there'd be a second date. You know what I mean? Take your time, stand in your truth, be at peace. Like and subscribe for more. Mental illness is out. Peace.